I'm going to go ahead and take Marvin Harrison Jr., wide receiver out of Ohio Ooh. State. Um, this is a super flex draft. I just want to say I recognize that I believe he's going to be a top five pick in this upcoming draft. Uh, wide receivers with that type of draft capital can't be ignored, especially in this age. He's listed at six foot four, two oh five. I think that's a lie. I think he's probably closer to six foot two and a half rather than six foot four. And I prefer that because he's a route runner. He can create a lot of separation. When you got guys that are six foot four, you don't really expect those type of players to be able to sink their hips. Make guys miss. When you guys are six foot four, you like them to play that bully ball type with some added athleticism. You know, Marvin Harrison is really not that. Not that he can't do that. I'm just saying that he can really separate with his footwork, not just out of pure athleticism. It's just easier to say what he does wrong than more than what he does right. And the one hang up I have on him is that he's really not a yak threat. I think he goes down to first contact a little bit more often than we would like that to happen. But that is really my only knock on him. Footwork's amazing. His hands are amazing. He's very good at boxing out defenders too. Knows how to high point. Like he's good at the catch point. And like when you put it in three separate sections, like release the route, the catch, all three of those sections are just phenomenal. And then that four section of yak, not great. But anyway, three out of four though, top of his class, three out of four. Like I like that. Nice. And then let's just same kind of question with Caleb Williams. We're not going to go for every player like this, but if you had to slot him in in a range in dynasty rankings, kind of right now, like what range would he come into in terms of you know who does he kind of fall in around once he gets drafted? Are we talking a top twelve guy, top fifteen guy? I probably top twenty guy, but wanted to kind of get your thoughts on that. Oh, I think I think top ten right away uh you're looking that at campus canton that's is that what the, the rankings have yeah, right there the C200. i'm definitely cheating here um <laughs> currently and you know just another little plug 299 a month gets you in the door <laughs> campus uh with bigger subscription levels for more bells and whistles all sorts of tools however um I've got Justin Jefferson's Jamar Chase, C.D. Lamb, A.J. Brown. That's a pretty consensus top four receivers in the mm. NFL. Marvin Harrison slides in right after that. Wide receiver Woo! five on our list, 14th player overall. Um, ahead of any other NCAA player, it's definitely Williams and Harrison. So the C200 rankings agree with you, Mike, to take Marvin Harrison at two. I don't know if I would do it. The rankings say, yeah, he's the second best college player and a top 15 overall NFL asset right now. So my my top tier wide receivers, because I, I do the dynasty rankings on our website. I don't update them as much as I should because we do do college content <laughs> mainly. Just being honest about that. But, you know, Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, A.J. Brown, Amara, C.D., like that's locked in for me. Like that's top five. The mm -hmm. next tier, though, like, that's where I would slide him in. And that's like the Tyree Kill, Waddle, Garrett Wilson, Puka. Like That's kind of where I put him in that group. Love that. Yeah, I think I think that that sounds pretty good. Like my pro comparison for Marvin Harrison Jr. is AJ Green. I think he shares a lot of the same things, and we've seen the peaks that like AJ Green had throughout his career as well. Probably a top ten wide receiver at some in his prime in his heyday. I think he'll definitely reach that. I think I'm more closer to Mike probably after Amon Ross St. Brown. Uh, once you start getting into the waddles and stuff like that, that's probably the area he would be for me. I think ARSB probably. Well, the, look at this list. It's Hill and then ARSB. You know, he's there. Waddle is ahead of both of those guys. Garrett Wilson ahead of both those guys. I think I'd probably put ARSB up there ahead. Uh, maybe some guys haven't quite updated their C200. I, I did my update a couple of weeks ago. But, you know, ARSB, is, he's probably a top five guy. I mean, I don't think you can argue too, too much against that now. All right, Alfred, I'm going to keep you on the mic here. 103. All right, let's do this. Um, this might be a little bit of a shock. I'm not trying to hot take. I've thought a lot about it. Um, because I have the third pick in oh, a, a dynasty uh, super flex. I would right now, unless I'm shocked in the draft, 